Nicola Sturgeon has been mocked after it was claimed that the European Union could refuse a bid by an independent Scotland to join the bloc over fears of having another Greece. The First Minister is pushing for another Scottish independence referendum, despite Boris Johnson ruling out the prospect of a fresh vote for at least another generation. She has also repeated calls for an independent Scotland to join the EU. But economics professor at Edinburgh Napier University, Peter Jaworski, has warned Brussels could reject an independent Scotland as it is not in the bloc's interests to have another Greece. His claims prompted a strong reaction from express.co.uk readers. Commenting on this website, one said, so Brussels have realised that Scotland are more useful outside the EU causing trouble in the UK than inside the EU causing trouble for them. Another wrote, what's she worried about? Boris gave her a new date for a referendum, 2055. A third mocked, I think the comparison between Scotland and Greece is unfair to Greece. Another added, if Scotland gets independence from the UK but is then part of the EU, it will be bankrupt within 12 months and begging to leave the EU and re-join the UK. However, this would need the approval of the rest of the UK and I would vote to reject their membership of the UK. A fifth said, Scotland's best future is in a strong independent UK. One more wrote, no longer useful to the EU. Nicola was played like a fiddle. Dr. Jaworski explained why it is unlikely the EU will allow an independent Scotland to join. He said, first of all, countries that have splitting tendencies, such as Spain or Belgium, will never agree. You then have got countries like Germany and France, and the question is why should they want Scotland in? I personally don't know why. We don't have a big economy, we would have problems almost like Greece, in terms of public deficit. Is it really in their interest to have another Greece? Dr. Jaworski said that Ms. Sturgeon may find a way to try to make Scotland more attractive to Brussels. He added, the First Minister is trying, with talks about electricity and power.